Right. Just, uh, so we did think it'd be pretty cool to have certain events happen based on time of day. And so whether it's uh, you're signing in at night or maybe it's time of week or maybe even time of the year, we'll be uh, offering different content. Maybe you'll see different creatures, you'll have different dynamic missions, you'll see certain things happening that aren't always there. You can see down below lots of activity, lots of action, people on missions, NPCs going about their business, creatures going up to that town. The, the, the whole world is a, a persistent world. Things are continuing to happen even when you're not online. I'm surprised no one ever mentions the statue. Yeah, no. So uh, down below you'll see some actually some foreshadowing of what's about to happen in the video. Looks like we have some chosen. That's a big word, foreshadowing. <laughs> The Chosen are actually a, a very evil race. They're some, some uh, bad guys. And they've emerged from the melding. And uh, we don't really fully know what they're after other than they're trying to kill us off. For those of you that don't know, the melding has, is an energy storm that's engulfed the majority of the planet at this point. And everything you've seen here is in the eye of the melding storm, a place called New Eden. Uh, and so the, the Chosen definitely have emerged from there. We don't know where they come from. Uh, but they, they are definitely the evil race. Here we are in Dredge. This is uh, this city was founded on top of the last known uh, Christite deposit outside of the melding. It's a very important place for uh, the core to protect. So it's also going to allow us to upgrade our equipment. Yeah, this is one of our hubs, right? We wanted to like take the social aspect of some of these other games and integrate them into shooters. A place to meet up with other players, uh, get on missions together, join armies, uh, tech up, buy, sell, trade, all that sort of stuff. Have a wiki wacker. We wanted to have kind of a sense of the wild, wild west here, the kind of the gold rush, uh, as people are rushing to dredge to find <coughs> Christite. And so uh, we've tried to make it a, feel like a bit of a shady community. Some of the characters here are... Uh, seamy, I think, was the yes, word. Seamy mining facilities. You know, we're <laughs> it up. So we're heading down now to a forge. This, this piece of equipment will allow us to use that new epic pack that we just got out in the field. Here we are at the forge. This is where you actually upgrade all of your equipment. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install this new backpack that we got down on the beach. Now the backpack actually powers all of your abilities and even some of your weapons. So in this case we've just been uh, given a new ability called Shockwave, which we'll get to see here shortly. Yeah, I think uh, you know, people don't realize that every you know, thing like the Battle Train or backpack has slots in it. And the slots can put like, different tech modules in, and that's what gives you different abilities and different capabilities in the Battle Train. It should be noted real quick that this attack that's happening, the Chosen are attacking Dredge. This is all a dynamic event. Uh, it's one of our world events. So when you go to Dredge, it's not always under attack. This may or may not happen depending on when you're here or what else is happening in the world. So we really wanted to make sure that the world felt like it was alive and that things were changing. And whenever you logged in, you had a different experience. And so this is just a small example of that. So we also work with the Chosen, um, speaking of iteration design. Originally the Chosen were a lot smaller than they are here. We felt that they didn't feel very opposing when, or imposing when they were attacking. So it's really important to increase their size, make them more visible, make them feel more threatening. Enough about the Chosen. What's that guy up there, man? <laughs> so that's an example of our melding titan, or a melding titan uh, that's attacking Dredge. It's a pretty powerful creature. Uh, it's going to take a lot more than just handguns to defeat it. So James is headed over to a nearby turret in order to try to attack the creature and get rid of it before it destroys Dredge. So it's important to note that if, if you don't defend the town, it's going to be completely taken over by the Chosen. But that, in turn, is going to create new dynamic missions to retake the town. Yeah, it doesn't just respawn after a while. You'll actually have to fight as a team, join up with other players, and actually take it back. And you really do care about these towns. All of them have things that are unique to them, so your access to them is something that you should care about. That's Firefall for you. Um, we're really excited about it, and we're going to release it at the end of 2011, uh, online for download and play for absolutely free. Uh, feel free to join us on our forums at firefallthegame.com. We hope you enjoyed the game. Thank you.
Oh yeah. Nerd.